Hi Fisher folks, Rich here again. So heading back out today, uh, meeting up with Gary and uh, we're going to fish on the local beach and just target smooth helm with some crab and squid. So we're going to fish down to low water, which is a sort of mid-range tide down to about two and a half metres just before three o'clock this afternoon. Um, weather's cloudy at the minute but it's supposed to be brightening up. Um, not ideal conditions, bright sun in the middle of the day, but you have to go as the tides dictate. So um, <clears throat> we'll see how we get on and um, hopefully see you on the beach with some fish later on today. So see you for now. So this is where we're going to be fishing today, just waiting for the tide to drop. There's a quite a deep gully out in front here, so we're just waiting for that to clear before we can get out. So we've got a perch rock over on the right. This is the double slipway, and then we've got where you go out to the rock channel over on that side. Actually, stayed nice and overcast, so uh, looking a bit more hopeful. I was thinking it was going to be bright, clear sun, but for overcast any day. Fire blades I'm using today are lovely rods, really easy in casting, and uh, just launch the lead beautifully. So, uh, get this one back on the tripod and uh, see if we can catch some fish. Tackle today, we've got Sentry Fire Blades again, still uh, giving these a good test out. The uh, more I use them, the more I'm growing to love them actually. And also the usual Pen Fathom 215 casting specials. So 
So uh, Gary has just set up 50 meters up the beach and uh, got two rods out. So uh, we'll follow this tide back, chase the tide down and uh, see what we can do. It's brightening up, which I'd rather it wasn't, but not much we can do about that. So first cast out there at the minute with a uh, whole squid and a um, whole peeler on the other rod. So um, just probably leave them out 15, 20 minutes, get a gauge of what the crab activity is like out there. Good news is very little weed at the minute. Um, there's been a lot in the river, so whether we'll start picking it up as we move down the beach, because basically the river's coming out and turning left, so we might hit a band of weed later. Um, we're having to move quite quickly down this flat part of the beach, but hopefully have to move less and less as we get down towards low water as the water deepens out. So uh, fingers crossed that we see some hounds today. lively one this one uh, nice little fish good little fight off him said a big drop back bite slack liner on the crab rod so uh, yeah One fish so far, nice hound. Uh, I was just on a whole crab, nice drop back bite line, just went slack. And uh, Gary hasn't had any yet, so probably starting to come up to uh, the better part of the tide now we're down the beach a bit. So uh, still sticking with the whole squid on one and a whole crab on the other. So hoping we can pick up a few more on this tide. Like Gary is into one down here.
session for me and Richie. Let's come out on the poly dropper down Crab. Beat me up a little bit on the beach this one. Uh, nice to get amongst them. Brighton sands, so uh, just to cast out some fresh bait. So, um, it's been fairly slow. We both have one, so we haven't blanked, so that's good. Um, I think I dropped one before, had a slack line bite, felt it on for a bit, a few seconds, that uh, seemed to have not hooked it properly. So, uh, but still 50 minutes to low and a bit after, so we've still got time to pick up another fish or two. So, uh, I'll get back to you hopefully with one in hand. All quiet on the western front, so uh, as we come out down to low, the uh, crabs have come out in force and basically stripping everything pretty quickly that we put out there. So, uh, putting on some bigger baits just to try and keep something out there a bit longer at the minute. Um, being fairly quiet, whether it'll change once the tide turns on the uh, flood we'll see but we won't get long here because it does flood this beach pretty quickly so uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> okay so uh, the tide's on the flood now so uh, it will flood this beach pretty quickly uh, main problem is you get a strong pull from left to right so basically any rigs tend to get dragged across and usually settle in a snag so uh, in fact I've just lost one rig just winding the rods in then so uh, as a good example so uh, yeah not the most uh, productive session but uh, we didn't blank we both had a nice smooth down about five pound a piece so uh, can't complain not bad for the, the middle of the day on a busy beach so uh, see you soon fisher folks bye for now